Hi all my gorgeous friends and family or fellow beings. Uh, this little video is going to be about uh, practicing how to feel the inner body. And uh, it's something I'm focusing on a lot uh, these days. And I think it's uh, very, just like everything else I talk about, it's so simple, yet it's so powerful. Uh, because when we are connected with our body, uh, we very quickly find harmony in our body, our mind, our soul. Everything starts to really fall into place. We sort of uh, enter into where we're meant to be. So, um, as I've said many times, we're spiritual beings and we're physical beings. Uh, and... and uh, the spirit is there, and we can connect with that, uh, and and it is good to do that every day, and and more or less always focus on that we are spirit. But we mustn't forget the body, because we are here as physical beings too. And I think it's so beautiful that uh, the bees are busy. <laughs> so cute just talking about the bees, they were up at 5.30 this morning collecting honey. They are so wonderful. So anyway, I think it's so wonderful that in the Bible, although in Christianity the body has been very much uh, looked upon as, as dirty and not spiritual, but really it says in the Bible that the body is is holy. It's part of our being and it's part of God's creation, so it is divine. And I have this very old, uh, tiny little English Bible, and I can't remember what it's called, but it says so beautifully in Corinthians 6.20, I'll read it for you, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Ah, that's just so beautiful. And I also, I'd like to read for you uh, some of this uh, beautiful book by Eckhart Tolle, where he talks about uh, connecting with the inner body. And... Um, Where is it? Here we are. Connecting with the inner body. Please try it now. You might find it helpful to close your eyes for this practice. Later on, <coughs> when being in the body has become natural and easy, this will no longer be necessary. So in the beginning, it's good to close your eyes. Direct your attention into the body. Feel it from within. Is it alive? Is there life in your hands, arms, legs and feet, in your abdomen, your chest? Can you feel the subtle energy field that pervades the entire body and gives vibrant life to every organ and every cell? Can you feel it simultaneously in all parts of the body as a single field of energy? Keep focusing on the feeling of your inner body for a few moments. Do not start to think about it, feel it. The more attention you give it, the clearer and stronger this feeling will become. It will feel as if every cell is becoming more alive. And if you have a strong visual sense, you may get an image of your body becoming luminous. <coughs> and uh, a little bit further on, he talks about slowing down the aging process, because he explains that <coughs> <coughs> I have to cough. He explains that when you connect with your body, you're actually, as I was saying in one of the videos before, you you bring vitality into the body. You're just uh, you're bringing life force into your body. So every cell is nourished better. And it sounds weird because you think you're nourished from the air and the water and the food, and you are too, but you're also nourished by your attention. It gives your cells energy. So 
you will uh, not age, uh, you will not look a, a, like a really old person when you age. <laughs> you will still have a glow to you, which is very alive when you do this practice. And then he sen- says uh, some more about the immune system. Another benefit of this practice in the physical realm is a great strengthening of the immune system, which occurs when you inhabit the body. The more consciousness you bring into the body, the stronger the immune system becomes. It is as if every cell awakens and rejoices. The body loves your attention. It is also a potent form of self-healing. Most illnesses creep in when you are not present in your body. If the master is not present in the house, all kinds of shady characters will take up residence there. When you inhabit your body, it will be hard for unwanted guests to enter. It is not only your physical immune system that becomes strengthened, your psychic immune system is greatly enhanced as well. The latter protects you from the negative mental emotional force fields of other people, which are highly contagious. Inhabiting the body protects you not by putting up a shield, but by raising the frequency vibration of your total energy field, so that anything that vibrates at a lower frequency, such as fear, anger, depression, and so on, now exists in what is virtually a different order of reality. It won't enter into your field of consciousness anymore. Or if it does, you don't need to offer any resistance to it because it passes right through you. Please don't just accept or reject what I am saying. Put it to the test. There is a simple but powerful self-healing meditation that you can do whenever you feel the need to boost your immune system. It is particularly effective if used when you feel the first symptoms of an illness. But it also works with illnesses that are already entrenched if you use it at frequent intervals and with an intense focus. It will also counteract any disruption of your energy field by some form of negativity. However, it is not a substitute for the moment-to-moment practice of being in the body. Otherwise, its effect will only be temporary. Here it is. When you are unoccupied for a few minutes, and especially lasting at night before falling asleep, and first thing in the morning before getting up, flood your body with consciousness. Close your eyes, lie flat on your back, choose different parts of your body to focus your attention on briefly, at first hands, feet, arms, legs, abdomen, chest, head, and so on. Feel the life energy inside those parts as intensely as you can. Stay with each part 15 seconds or so. Then let your attention run through the body like a wave a few times, from feet to head and back again. This need only take a minute or so. After that, feel the inner body in its totality as a single field of energy. Hold that feeling for a few minutes. Be intensely present during that time, present in every cell of your body. Don't be concerned if the mind occasionally succeeds in drawing your attention out of the body um, and you lose yourself in some thought. As soon as you notice that this has happened, just return your attention to the inner body. So he says a lot more, but I think that that is really, really useful and really good um, and just a wonderful thing to to think of um, for all of us to just let our attention come into our bodies much more. So, and, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's so many things you can say, but um, allowing yourself... He talks about forgiveness also, that when you enter into your body, love your body. I mean, love who you are. Don't be angry at it, because we're all beautiful flowers of the universe, and we are all part of God's creation, created in God's uh, image. And we are part of God. I mean, we are God in physical form. Mm -hmm. So, uh, love who you are and allow yourself to be in this beautiful temple that you've been given. So, uh, take care, my friend, and um, see you soon.